these corporations, these big banks, everybody that's funding this, make sure that people don't know what's going on. People thought, didn't understand fracking for the longest time. In order to stop the fracking in the states that have stopped it, it wasn't because it was progressive. It was because people finally understood and the people who were turning on their taps and finding water shooting out of it weren't Democrats or Republicans. They were people that couldn't even live in their houses. So this is something that's not a partisan issue except for the fact that nobody has information. And one of the things we have to do now, just like in South Africa, is to start to withdraw our money from the big banks that are funding the pipeline. So people like me who know about the pipeline and have been opposed to the pipeline now have to put their money where their mouth is. You have to stop liking tweets and passing tweets around. And if you can't go there, at least withdraw your money. You were on the record, and I can understand why, supporting Jill Steen, the Green candidate. And there are so many people who will have the views, the world view that you have, who will say, that is an indulgence at this point. It's a battle between Clinton and Trump, and ultimately you have to make a choice between one of those two. All right, I'm not, ultimately I don't have to make the choice to, to vote against my own best interests because the reason we're in the situation we're in is because everyone has been voting the lesser of two evils for so long. Uh, it's important to have a new party, and it's important therefore to get these independent candidates to 5%. And Hillary Clinton is almost certainly going to win. She's got every neocon, she's got all the press, she's got all the networks, she's got the newspapers, everyone behind her. It's important to vote not only my conscience, but to vote to get that 5% up. And there are a lot of people that don't want to vote at all, and I would urge them to say you have to vote the down ticket and to vote for the future. Abraham Lincoln was a third party candidate. And the DNC, I believe, having seen what I saw during the primary, is so corrupt that it's not worthy of our votes. But look, if you wake so up, I would say, if you wake up on Wednesday morning next week and it's President Trump, you won't feel an, a, an ounce of, of, of contrition or regret. You won't say, "Oh, you." For everything, everything that I care about, I'm worried about the wars. I'm worried about Syria. I'm worried about all of these things that actually exist. TPP. I'm worried about fracking. I'm worried about the environment. No matter who gets in they don't address these things right. because money has taken over our system. So for me, it doesn't matter. The fact that Bernie Sanders, the man who you supported, who you've been a big fan of, the fact that he says, you've got to vote for Hillary, you've got to make that choice in this election, does that carry no, no, no weight with you? Bernie also said, no matter who I tell you to vote for, don't listen to me, vote your heart. He's going to be, hopefully, if we, what, the, the thing we should be focusing on, that we have to focus on, is taking the Senate and taking the House back. Because if you notice, all this talk about the Supreme Court, Judge Obama hasn't been able to get his guy in there. We have to take the, with progressives, the House and the Senate. And that's where things are going to be decided. We have to get the money out of that part of all of these superdelegates that are also lobbyists. The Citizen United has done terrible things to the government. So what you have to do is go and vote the down. That is equally as important. That's what we're going to be left with. Because depending on what happens in the House and the Senate, nobody can get anything done. But a lot of young women think it's the most natural thing in the world that you might have a woman president. A lot of women of, of, of your generation may take the view that is actually quite a big thing for the United States to elect a, a woman president. Is that, does that not sway you to say, Hillary Clinton, first woman president, that would be a big moment for the US in, in a good way? You know, there's, I, I want the right woman. I want, uh, I, there are women that have, uh, you know, great women that have, uh, that I admire that have headed nations. And then, you know, you've got, you've had a woman. I don't know how you felt about that. Uh, but it's not, I don't vote with my vagina, you know, this is bigger than, than that. And I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about Trump and Hillary because that's not why I'm here. This is bigger than this winning who wins this election. This water, I mean, water is everything. It's not going to matter what happens in this election if we don't have water. And, and it, we're in a very, very dangerous place all over. You have fracking issues in, in England. And we have to start looking at the greed that is corrupting uh, our water source for future generations. And on top of that, the racism that goes into what's going on in this pipeline. Susan Sarandon, it's, it's been really interesting hearing that perspective. Thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks. You're welcome.